What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Fan Mail, and another huge shout out to you guys for sending in fan mail. Seriously, guys, since I've been in the academy, you guys have really been taking care of me with this fan mail. Uh, every week I go, I have to roll a cart out of the post office, which is awesome so i just want to say thank you so much guys it means a lot uh, with that said if you want to send something to uh to my p.o box uh you can do officer yummy i guess or yummy r6 the address is p.o box 20991 saint simon's island georgia 31522 like i said if you want to send anything it will make it to a video eventually still some packages that i did get in the mail that did not uh are not in this episode they're in the other room i just picked and grabbed uh from the earlier one that I've got and then just threw a couple other ones in there. I do apologize. We do have a lot of fan mail. Ever that is a really good problem to have. So I, again, I just want to express my thanks to everyone that has been sending in fan mail. You guys are honestly amazing. Just a little Academy update. If you guys don't watch my Academy videos, we are going into week seven. Week seven this week uh, is coming up. Well, I guess after this weekend is week seven of 11. Can you guys believe it? We're in week seven of 11. We're over the halfway mark in getting to where we're in the final weeks of the Academy. And I'm still there. Kind of give you guys some numbers real quick to show you guys it is not always the easiest thing to pass we started with 36 people in each class at my academy my class is down to 25 the other class is down to 17 so i think it's 42 we started with 72 we've lost 30 people but your boy is still hanging on and so is the rest of the cadets from my department we are still doing good i actually had my lowest test grade this past Friday, which was an 83. Not very happy about it. It was a really hard test. Uh, no one did well, but uh, I'll take the 83. All right, let's stop talking and let's jump into fan mail. We're going to open up this package. This is for Yummy R6 from Collection US. Going to go ahead and say this is a coin. Pretty pretty positive this is going to be a coin. Oh, it's a coin package. It totally is. All right, here we go. Hey, enjoy your 11 coins from death. Holy 11. All right, let's check out this coin here. There might be multiple in here. What do we got? Oh, cool. It's like a, it's like a, oh, oh, cool. We got the thin blue line things. I actually have that coin right there. Check it out. We have the America shield, a thin blue line. It's like a, and it's, it's like a Captain America shield. And then it's got the blue lives matter on the back. We actually already have one of those. That's what that one is right there. So I will put this in my duplicate tr uh, pile. Really cool coins. Dath, thank you so much. These are actually one of my favorite coins out of everything I've gotten. So thank you so much, dude. I really, really do appreciate this. And next package here, I'm going to go ahead and guess this was from Kama. Uh, it actually came to my house and one of my uh, really good friends, buddy Kama, sent something to my house. So that's why the label's ripped off. But I think this is from Kama because he named the name on the package Dingle Doofus Sexy Pants. And that's that's usually a Kama thing. Let's see what we got in here. Oh boy, we got some handcuffs. Hell yes. Oh my god, those are big. Orange because it tastes like snozberries. <laughs> I love Kama. Check it out. We got a new color handcuffs. Why do these why are these so big? What the hell? Okay, so we got some handcuffs uh, from from my boy Kama. And these are like very large handcuffs. So I actually want to get into collecting handcuffs. Uh, this is kind of what I want to do. Actually, if you guys remember, we have my pink ones I'll grab. Pink handcuffs that Piggy sent me not too long ago. That's what normal handcuffs are. And these bitches are for like a like Shaq type person. So this is like Shaquille O'Neal level handcuffs here. Um, I don't have a pair, a pair of Shaquille O'Neal handcuffs, but uh, for comparison, there you go. Now we can definitely arrest Shaq. I feel a little better with my life. Dude, thank you so much, Kama. I appreciate it. And like I said, guys, I'm going to start collecting handcuffs. So like any different color handcuffs, actual handcuffs, I think it'd be really cool to have like a big collection of handcuffs because you know what? Handcuffs are amazing. They're like pins for cops they're just like it's like candy i don't know how to explain them but freaking awesome thank you so much comma all right next package here we're gonna open up this thing it's like a ball or something in here i don't know what it is but it's from rock gifts so maybe it's a rock not a rock it's a boulder what do we got in here what is this what the okay this is interesting uh, let's see for from those haters that hate your gnome collection from death dude death is on fire right now this guy is going crazy i think we have a gnome that is mooning and i'm not going to show it because i'm pretty sure youtube won't like it definitely an ass so uh i'll pick a neighbor i don't like in about right there so every time they open their door all they're going to see is a big butt it's a pretty much winning gnome collection i have the best gnome collection on the earth i just want to let everyone know that so open up this tiny little packages from susan story i wonder if her middle name's like 
poetry or something. Damn it, you know what? That was a really good joke to happen and I failed. I completely botched that. All right, looks like a coin from eBay. Oh, check this one out. Boca Ratten Police Department, Florida. Oh, cool, dude. Check this coin out. So this looks like an actual legit, is that, I don't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but Boca Ratten, Boca Ratten, if there's someone from this area or Florida that knows how to actually say this, I'd appreciate the correction because I don't know if I'm saying it right, but check it out. An actual uh, um, coin from this police department. I'll honestly have no idea where this is at. But this is really cool. I'm going to have to look it up after fan mail. Really awesome. Anyone from this area? Sweet coin. I really do appreciate this. Thank you so much. I didn't see a letter in there, so they hate me. I sent that. Thank you so much. Let's open this little box because it's cuter than hell. It is a really cute box. Oh, God. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but oh, well. Okay, so we have, like, purple duct tape. Yep, it's definitely duct tape. All right, we got the inside. What is in the box? We got something wrapped up there. And then we got a beautiful letter. This is definitely a female. Aaron, I know you're the female and I know you wrote this. Kevin, don't lie to me. You don't have handwriting like this. Just don't lie to me. I know it's true. I mean, we have been watching you for a long time and wanted to send something we knew you would like. Congratulations on getting in the police academy. Keep up the awesome videos coming. Thanks, or, or uh, Kevin and Aaron. Then I know you didn't write this, Aaron. You have beautiful handwriting, like every female does on this planet. Kevin, yours probably looks like a five-year-old just like mine. Don't worry, no hard feelings. Thank you guys so much. You were awesome. Loving couples right in. Let's see what we got. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, cool. Oh, is this like a stand? Wait a second here. This is like, oh, this is like a miniature coin stand. That is so cool. Oh, my God. I'm totally putting your guys' coin in that. Let's see what we got in here. It's in here. Here it is. Oh, Lord. Oh, dude, check that out. Check it out in memory of two, uh, September 11, 2001. It's got 2001 down there. It's got a portrait of the Twin Towers. And on the back, it's got God Bless America. Wow, what a cool coin. It's like complete picture. That is so awesome. I'm absolutely using... I'm absolutely keeping this. I'm keeping the stand, and it is going right there. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Kevin and Aaron. You guys were freaking awesome. Thank you for watching the families. Thank you for liking them and appreciating them. And thank you even more for sending in. That means a lot. So I really appreciate it. That coin is really cool. Very unique coin and very sentimental. You know, got a lot of value. It's crazy to think that, like, some people, like, most, most adults that are coming up in age now, uh, everyone that's 18 or older, weren't even alive for that, which is which is just nuts. Or I guess it would be 17 or something like that. But or 19. I don't fucking know. Math is really hard when you're trying to record. Kind of crazy because I can remember that day like it was yesterday. I was in fourth grade. Uh, I remember it 100%. Uh, 110%. I remember it. I remember my mom coming to the school crying. I remember everything. So it's pretty crazy that uh, a lot of people never weren't alive when that happened nowadays. Because I'm getting old as dirt. So there's that. All right, let's open this box up here. It is yummy. Has your six. I like that. That's a that's a that's a good that's a good that's a good name. I like it. That's good. We got a big old Amazon package here. Let's see. Fucking Whole Foods on all these goddamn packages. I'm really disappointed though, to be honest. Amazon has not made a new tape in a while. They usually always make new tape and they just haven't, and I'm kinda sad. Oh, what the heck is going on in here? Alright, this is kinda heavy. I don't know what it is. What is that? Looks like a vest, maybe? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, one letter? Nope, there's two letters. Okay, let's see. These things will make your life a little, uh, uh, a bit more comfortable. I hope they help and serve you well. Vests get funky, so the spray gets rid of that. And the under vest allows ventilation, which makes life easier, better than heat. I hope these help you cool and awesome fresh. When I had to wear a vest daily, they did for me. What? All right, so check this out. This is freaking awesome. All right, so this is a, a oh God, this is a vest that you wear underneath or i guess underneath i'm gonna look this up because i'm actually like super curious about this so for everyone that has to wear an under vest uh in policing so that means you're not wearing a uh an a vest that goes on top of your person that has like all your stuff on it that's not that's not what we're talking about so this is a vest that I have to wear under my uniform because that's how my department does it. So it gets really hot. That's what everyone complains about. So apparently, based on what he said, you put this on and then the vest and then it lets it breathe. That's really interesting. I didn't even know they made anything like this. Right here, Max Dry. 221B makes wearing ballistic vests more comfortable. And in here, I think you said there's something to keep the, the fresh or something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what we got going on in here. Oh, check it out. Arrest my vest. We have two big ass bottles. These are huge bottles. 16 ounce bottles of Arrest My Vest odor eliminating spray for body armor, tactical gear, canines, and vehicle. Unscented. Really freaking cool, dude. 
This is amazing. Thank you so much. I don't think they left a name uh, on the on the thingies. I don't, I don't think there was a name, was there? No, there was not a name, but dude, thank you so much. I'm definitely going to be looking into this. I'm going to actually try it on after this and see how, how it feels. Uh, it says medium slash large, which that is perfect for me. So I, I don't even know about this. This is really cool. If anyone's used this before, uh, let me know uh, how good it works. Because down here in South Georgia, it... Uh, it's gonna be a little a little hot since it's already getting into the hundreds. That is freaking awesome, man. Something that's gonna help me on my job. That is so cool. Those are like the coolest packages to get, seriously. Uh, thank you so much, dude. I really, really, as soon as I get known family, I'm gonna be checking that out. All right, let's open up this package here. It is for Yummy R6 from Funyan. It's like it's like a Funyan, but it's Funyan. God, I hate these fucking packages. All right, let's see. We got we got a coin, we got a letter. You made six dick bag. Oh, that's mean. Hope you don't have this coin. I also sent that CHP coin from Kevin Sutherland. Hello, Kevin Sutherland. Kevin, you're awesome, man. Let's see what you got. Oh, cool. Check. Oh, wait. Is this the... Oh, I thought this was a DD coin that I got last week. Check it out. This is a cool one. Peace Talks. Uh, Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un un, and, oh my God, Donald Trump. They made a challenge coin for when... Uh, North Korea talked with Donald Trump. That is really ridiculous. Uh, I guess they make challenge coins for everything now. But didn't this just like go completely down? Didn't they just start shooting missiles and like hate us again? I don't fucking know. I don't. I don't follow the TV enough. Thank you so much, Mr. Sutherland. You are freaking awesome, dude. This next package here is from Dyla Brands. Dyla Brands. Not sure what that is, but it's from Amazon. Oh man. Let's see. Oh, Krispy Kreme! Hell yes! Krispy Kreme coffee shots. What is this? Is this like a... Oh, are these like five-hour energies? But but hold up. 100 milligram caffeine equals one coffee. So how much are in these? Oh, dude, they are. What? Check it out. It's like little baby freaking coffees. Calories 35, one bottle. How much caffeine? 100 milligrams. There's 100 milligrams of caffeine in one baby coffee. This is freaking awesome. But I'm totally taking this to the academy because I'm going to, not this week, but next week when we start classroom again, I'm going to need one of these babies. I'm definitely taking this to the academy. Thank you so much, whoever sent this. This is really cool. I could use a lot of those. <laughs> Got him fat. As the last package here is from James, Mr. Ogletree. It is a big old package. I don't think it's Amazon. So I guess we're going to see what we got in here. All right, let's see. Oh, God, there's a lot of bubble wrap. Lots of bubble wrap. Whoa, what is this? Let's get this bubble wrap down. Oh, dude, what? Holy shit. All right, here we go. North Florida War, War Room, Jimmy Ogletree. Uh, social media affiliate networking north slash facebook.com slash north florida war room youtube.com slash north florida war room uh the, oh, let's check this out and it's got the uh Bible phrase on the back we got a letter let's check this out holy crap i'm taking let me take this out real quick dude holy shit check this backpack out what this is freaking awesome! What the heck? Thank you so much. This is freaking awesome. Back to Iron Anal Flap, it's me again. You don't remember me. I sent you the World War II stuff that made you boohoo like a baby and sent you the box of nothing but peanuts with you mad at the foot. <laughs> oh my god, I do remember that. How you become a police officer? Uh, welcome to the dark side, my friend. You picked one hell of a career. I was a, I was a private police department here in Florida for about five years before medical issues took over and I had to fly, uh, fly a desk. Now the most dangerous thing I encounter now is a jam stapler. And yes, I have SWAT on standby for said situations. I decided to send a few things as I call them police officer survival kit. Some of these things I used on a nightly basis uh, basis and some I just had in just in case that items I'm sending will be listed below I'm also tossing in a couple World War II books for you as well side note you mentioned Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and a fan mail a while ago seeing as I am a native of Jax I will send some patches and coins from GSO when I can get my hands on them I went to their academy in 2012 and was there was an explorer with them in high school it did include one of my GSO academy patches but it won't say GSO as the academies in the state of Florida are required by state law to be owned and run by a college yeah it is weird but you still get college credits going through the academy here which is cool that's kind of like georgia georgia has a georgia state thing that requires you not necessarily go through a college but a lot of them are we have a 511 511 rush 24 backpack is great too and from work bag and during the academy you will appreciate having one i used to uh, i use this bag nightly during the academy 
Two caffeine pills. These are vital to make it through the graveyard shift. One is equal to a cup of coffee and there is no crash. Three, partial trauma kit and an SOE compact tear off med kit. This can be attached to the back and there are uh, some pieces inside. A tourniquet, shears, combat gauze to stop heavy bleeding, compression bandage. You will need some chest seals to go with the North American Rescue. You will need an MPA and chest decompression needle if you want them just in case for use used to be by trained professionals only major side note do not use the cat tourniquets you received in previous fan mails i would tell you by the way they were packaged and folded they were not real tqs from north american rescue pack of cheap pins you will understand when you hit the street getting statements from people covered in blood etc you you want pins you can toss my original pair of smith and wesson handcuffs i got these in an explorer program 16 and these have been used on some real shitheads out there oh my god how much stuff is in this bag seven binoculars you are vital to work in traffic accidents with possible hazmat trucks etc you will not want to run into ammonia fumes because you want you won't walk out misc pair misc pair key paracord keychains and a bracelet a minimalist wallet used for police issued id cards access cards and keep separate from personal wallet a power bank great little emergency item to have on standby i write in a rain notebook uh tan like last one this is a great admin kit keep a notepad pens etc to have for rainy days when you want to keep your dry notes. Headlamp, a uh, number of uses for these, mostly on crime scenes when you need both hands and a light. A molly flashlight holder. Spare knife, something cheap to cut hazmat items with, such as seat belts, etc. When someone is covered in blood, use it and toss it, or leave in bleach for a couple hours. Zip tie cuff cutter, the black thing with the, black, uh, the key ring on it. These are vital, releasing someone from flex cuffs or zip tie style handcuffs. Water bottle or molly holder, uh, the tan thing on the inside of the bag, self-explanatory. A PR24, aka attitude adjustment stick. <laughs> Learn to use this or keep it as a window breaker. It works great for poor attitudes or breaking car windows. I Bible, if you recall, I'm a minister and faith will be one of the things you keep uh, will keep you sane with everything you are about to see in the world. You will see death, hate, evil, and heartbreak. It is not easy thing to deal with. It saved me from taking my own life. My police academy patch in a wall patch panel. You will be given patches and this is used to display them on. I made the panel so it isn't perfect, but if you run the stripe vertical, it looks good. A set of Safari Land gloves. I'm not sure if they'll fit you. They were listed as a size large, but I couldn't fit four fingers into them. Insert tighter than a virgin on prom night joke. <laughs> Composition book. Used for the laws that you will use the most on the street, like a quick reference or use it to track your hours worked and in a car weather rock and in car weather rock you can use this to tell the weather you will like it with your sense of humor <laughs> rescue me tool put this on a key ring and put it somewhere you can access quickly in the cruiser and a hidden handcuff key the key fits in a belt keeper nylon one included put this on your inner belt and put it in the duty belt over top that way if you are taken hostage chances are your duty belt will be taken on uh, will be your duty belt will be on hands behind your back and you will have a key to unlock a set of cuffs i know it's kind of fucked up to think like this but plan for the absolute worst case scenario and pray for the best this is an item i wear every single day even to present time hey jackson i'm in jackson florida and i have included one of my new cards i am also a firearms instructor so if you want some rain shine give me a shout by the way i'm on instagram at the fluffy tackleberry i freak i freaking hope you understand the tackleberry reference otherwise you're not certain to wear the badge you know, the badge yet uh uh, you must watch the police academy videos before you go to, before you go to the academy. Hit a brother up sometimes if you're in Jack. Holy shit, dude! Thank you so much. This is unreal. If you guys haven't gone to this guy's Instagram page and given him some love, you need to right now. So without further ado, let's look at all the stuff he explained. I am totally bringing this uh, bag to the police academy this weekend. I am totally ditching my bag because this one is badass. Oh my god, check it out! Holy shit! All right, there. here's the attitude adjuster. Yeah, that'll adjust my attitude just looking at it. We have the med kit right here with all the stuff he explained. The gloves, actually, he said they were large. I wear large, but he couldn't get his hand in them. And wait, 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 wait. a little tight. Definitely a virgin on prom night. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Well, I can get my hand in them. I'm going to cut that tag off. Yeah, I can get my hand in them. All right. Are they like, are these like uh, a needle proof? Maybe. I don't know if they are or not, but they fit pretty decently. I don't know if, I mean, I think it'll fit my right hand too. I guess we'll figure out if these are needle proof later. I'll look up the model number. The gloves. Here is a tourniquet that I'm guessing you recommend me use other than the ones that you showed. Here's some, oh yeah, the caffeine pills. 
Oh, check it out. This is official United States weather rock. If the rock is wet, it's red. <laughs> it was <a> shadow. <laughs> this is fantastic. This is actually absolutely going in my car. I'm going to find somewhere to put that. Uh, we got a little handcuff case here. Um, I don't remember what this was. Uh, here's some paracord stuff. We have uh, the... Oh, this is cool. What is in this? Oh, the binoculars in here. I don't have a really good set of binoculars. I actually don't have any at all. So that's really cool. Uh, we have a thingy here i have to look up and see what this thing is too oh I think, no this is the wallet thing yeah this is the wallet thing uh we have a holder thingy uh one of the things you explain and then here's the handcuffs that probably has some syphilis on it because oh dude those like go really good holy shit these are definitely broken in cuffs i can tell you that this is freaking awesome dude thank you so much we got some more handcuffs we got uh a belt keeper here with the hidden uh here's the hidden Hidden handcuff key thingy that goes around it. I'm definitely going to put that on. We got some pins for the crackheads. We got a nice blue composition book. The World War II books he talked about. SS, the secret archives. And the Eastern Front. Oh, that's cool. We got one of both. The Western and Eastern Front. Here's a power hub to charge my phone when it's dead. Because I'm definitely going to need that. Well, seriously, I'm definitely going to need that. And up here, we got some more paracord stuff. A uh, little keychain thing. Blue blue alpha gear. Uh, here's that uh, knife he was talking about for all the blood. We got the Bible. That's a really cool version of the Bible. That's actually really neat. We got the headlamp that he was talking about. Bright as shit. We need to turn that off before I blind myself. Uh, then we have... Oh, I forget what this was. Uh, oh, this is the cable tie um, thing. This is how you break cable ties. I didn't even know you had to use a special tool for that, but it would make sense. Um, and I'm sure I'm forgetting stuff. Oh, I feel something down here. Let's, yeah, it's, it's right here. I think it is. It's like it's like somewhere. There's so many pockets in this thing. I don't even know like where to start. Here we go. We got uh, some weapons lubricant. Maybe he left that in there because I don't remember that being listed. But I'll take some lubricant. Who doesn't want free lubricant? I think that is it. Dude, thank you so much. Oh, my God. There's another freaking thing back here. Thank you so much for this, man. This is freaking incredible. Awesome backpack. Awesome supplies that I'm absolutely going to use. I, I Like, seriously, I'm going to definitely use all of this stuff. Uh, and i actually really curious about these gloves. Uh, I'm going to, oh God, uh, my weather rock, I'm going to pin it up. I'll probably Velcro the back of this and Velcro it in my car. Be something pretty funny. Uh, and then these guys, I definitely want to look into and see uh, see the uh, the brand or what are these, what's it called? Hatch? I don't know if they're going to be needle-proof, but gloves are gloves, man. You can never have too many. Holy shit, what a fan mail. Awesome stuff, dude. I love you. I am near Jax, so eventually when I get out of the academy um, for Jacksonville, I may actually hit you up to go ahead and go shoot down there because I would love to get some instruction from you. So I do uh, really look forward to that. Really appreciate it, man. Jimmy, you are freaking awesome. Thank you so much for watching, fan mail. This has been an absolutely unbelievable one with things that I can absolutely use on my job, which is going to be freaking crazy. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching Fan Mail. I'll see you guys next week for a Academy video. Fan Mail out. I love you guys so much. Seriously, you guys are unbelievable. Later, guys.